Memorial to the Incarcerated Railroad Workers who built the Mountain Division of the Western North Carolina Railroad. Look around. See the railroad tracks looping up the mountainside? About 3,000 African American men and a few hundred African American women, virtually all of them prisoners and former slaves, laid those tracks between 1875 and 1879. They also created seven tunnels to get the Mountain Division of the Western North Carolina Railroad to the top of Old Fort Mountain. Some of these laborers had been convicted on false or flimsy evidence or sentenced to terms much longer than their crimes merited. They served at nearby Henry Station in crude boxcars, having been shipped like produce from the North Carolina State Penitentiary in Raleigh. With only their muscle and a few hand tools, and the aid of black powder and nitroglycerin, first used in the southeastern U.S. on these tunnels, the laborers performed brutally hard work under severe conditions. They pounded through solid rock, cleared and smoothed the land, and laid 9.4 miles of rails from Henry Station up the Eastern Continental Divide to the top at Ridgecrest. At least 139 of these prisoners, perhaps closer to 300, died while working on this project. This entire section of track became a graveyard. This plaque, installed in 2021, recognizes and memorializes these convict laborers, their work and sacrifices. Without them, the railroad would not have been built. And up there is the high fill right before the railroad goes through the tunnel under the Eastern Continental Divide. Down here, this is called Andrews Geyser. And it's a, I don't think it's natural occurring, I think it's pumped water. It's a nice fountain, beautiful. I've seen uh, pictures of it frozen in the winter. Here's a, here's a plaque about the geyser. The geyser, this geyser was built in 1912 by George Fisher Baker of New York as a tribute to his friend, Colonel Alexander Boyd Andrews of Raleigh, North Carolina and appreciation for the great public service he rendered in development and, and upbuilding Western North Carolina. Andrews Geyser was restored in 1970 by the town of Old Fort with contributions from the people of Western North Carolina and dedicated as a public park for the use and enjoyment of all. Your cooperation in caring for these facilities will be appreciated. In, and ensure the life of Andrews Geyser as a park for the benefit of all future generations. Want to know a gap engagement? Union General Alvin C. Gillum led two brigades of General Stoneman's Raiders from the Jonathan, Jonathan Logan Carson House on April 19, 1865, passing through Old Fort en route. That's Gillum on the left, General Martin on the right. General James Martin, meanwhile, anticipated Gillum's movement and ordered all his forces in Western North Carolina to the, to the gap to your left. Martin later wrote, they reached the gap before Gillum did, and after cutting down some trees and making some other arrangements to receive the raiders, awaited their approach, and when they advanced, repulsed them without any difficulty. The, en the enemy spent two or three days at this gap, but were not able to effect a passage. Gillum, who reported Swannanoa Gap effectually blockaded and defended, left Colonel John K. Miller's brigade to hold the Confederates in place with feints while he led the rest of his men to Rutherfordton, 40 miles south of here. And another quote from Governor, from General uh, Gillum. On the 19th, I moved toward Asheville by way of Swannanoa Gap, reaching the gap on the 20th. I found it to be effectually blockaded and defended by about 500 men with four pieces of artillery. 
Leaving, the Colonel, leaving Colonel Miller to deceive the enemy by feints on the 21st, I moved to Rutherford, 40 miles south of Swannanoa Gap, and by sundown on the 22nd, I had passed the Blue Ridge at Howard's Gap with but slight resistance and was in the enemy's rear. And there's actually a little map of the movements of Stoneman's Raid in Tennessee, Virginia, and North Carolina with dates on where he reached various places.